we finally got the game like into the hands of players, it was such a joyful experience and such a scary experience. Players were eager for more content, more replayability, more endgame, if you so want to say. The overall feel of the game is something, it's not fixed. And it's something that continuously will be added on and tweaked and changed as we go along, like building the product together with you. And for Creeping Winter, the DLC, we have two pretty cool things that we'll add to the game. The first one is merchants. We'll have a lot more merchants in the camp for the player to discover. And there they can purchase or gamble uh, to get new exciting treasure. We also have a feature called Daily Trials, and it's literally what it sounds like. It's a daily challenge to the player to try to complete a level with totally new game mechanics every day. We're adding the Daily Trials as a free part of the, of the update. And when you play Daily Trials, uh, those are always a little bit more challenging than regular base missions and they also get slightly higher rewards. So now in the, in the Creeping Winter DLC, if you play Apocalypse 7 and you play a daily trial on top of that, then you get higher power gear than you've seen before, and that again increases your effective maximum character level. It's really important to offer both paid and free DLC content to everyone. Like, the paid content is, think of it as a, as a bite-sized chunk of a bio. It has a narrative, a little story, it has new exciting mobs, um, and a lot of carefully designed and hidden secrets for you to discover, etc. We also want to have, for the base game, for everyone, lots of continuous free updates that just makes the game better and better over time. So we will have things like an endgame content, and endgame features, where players who want more of a challenge and want to tickle the treasure collection fancy a bit more, they will have lots of stuff to look forward to. Also, how can we experience the content and the levels in a different way? That's something we want everyone to be, to be able to join in. Well, the first biome uh, was a jungle. We thought that we needed some contrast to that. So the second one is a winter biome, of course. Uh, it, was a, it was a fun process going from uh, humidity to, to snow. In the Creeping Winter DLC, we've uh, introduced this mechanic where you slide around on the ice as you walk on it. That can take fights that we have in the base game and make them feel really interesting and, and different from what they do normally. Um, so fighting a creeper is one thing, but fighting lots and lots of creepers while sliding around on the ice is something completely different. And then you add the risk of sliding into the water and, and getting frozen solid in an ice block, and, and it just becomes this very interesting gameplay that I think is a lot of fun to play. In the paid DLC with the Creeping Winter, there's both melee armor range and an artifact that you can find that are exclusive to that DLC. The artifact, which is an ice one, I think is especially interesting because it ties into a new mob that we have in the DLC called the Isologer, which attacks by summoning a giant floating block of ice above the player and then it kind of slams down on them, uh, dealing damage, pushing, pushing things back and, and stunning them. We wanted a mob that was dangerous to the player, kind of regardless of position. Not specifically if it was in front of you and had a line to you, but could attack you from a distance with a powerful attack, even if you were protected, uh, if you were behind a wall, uh, and, and to make that gameplay feel compelling and interesting. And another new mob for Creeping Winter DLC is the Icy Creeper. Uh, the Icy Creeper started out blue, when we experimented, we wanted to fit the, uh, the overall wintry biome, but uh, it quickly turned uh, green again because we didn't want to change uh, an iconic mob like that. But we added uh, some uh, snow particles around it and the explosion is totally different. 
So why didn't we ship with all of this stuff? Well, obviously, it wasn't done. Uh, I mean, at any given point in time, you need to decide now is the time where we want to release the game. And then we can start actually adding to it and building it together with the community. And stay tuned. There will be more updates coming in the future.